Namaste witchlings, welcome back to my channel. This is Di's Daily Divination Draw and I am Di, your favorite yoga witch living a magical life through yoga. Hello, my darlings. Today is my cousin's birthday. So, Samuel, I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy birthday. Oh, there we go. So, it is Friday. We are very grateful it is Friday. Um, and before we go, any further, I want to remind you guys to hit the like and subscribe buttons, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I post new stuff and go live again. Share this to, if you feel someone could use today's words of wisdom, and then drop me a comment if anything I say resonates with you today. What do the cards have to tell us today? <music> The Three of Cups, which means celebration, party, good stuff happening. Then, Queen of Swords. She is a strong-minded and self-sufficient woman. Perhaps she is a widow who is headstrong and efficient and a source of inspiration. And then finally... We have the world, which says completion, fulfillment, synthesis, held in high esteem by others, and success. Oh, nice. The cards are being positive today. Oracle. Our first oracle is, I need to reach out. Then, you don't think of me. And, there will be a return. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Next, Rune. Dagaz, our divinity, is Heimdall. The letter is D. The symbol is the day. The elements are fire and air. The trees are the fir, the birch, the oak, and the spruce. The plant is the salvia hormenoides. Stones are tiger's eye and sunstone. Colors are blue and white. And the animal is the rooster. The hidden power of Degas rune rests in those faint instances when esoteric knowledge enters you like a bolt of lightning, revealing inexpressible truths that before seemed unattainable. Now appearing crystal clear, in these instances, we discover immense wisdom within ourselves and insight into the dynamic patterns of existence. 
Degas is identical to the dawn of each new day by vanquishing the darkness of the night, bringing in a new beginning. Degas is seeing the dots around you connect into a grand image, or finding the keys to the metaphysical doors of your ancient memory. Each occurrence with Degas will fill a gap in the grand puzzle of your existence and illuminate your vision of the ancient truth. Degas is the rune of enlightenment and ultimate awareness, that final gift of Odin's. These concepts are represented by this archaic symbol, and it's meant to teach us about this ancient phenomenon that happens within us. Degas has no negative attributes associated with it. All encounters with Degas deliver positive messages, such as wisdom, happiness, and hope. Striving for these moments will always be beneficial, and we must search for them actively. Through things like music, meditation, and ritual, we can reach these higher states of being, broadening our perception of the cosmos with every occurrence. When looking for change and improvement, it is wise to gravitate towards Degas and meditate on its functions. Follow your intuition. Degas symbolizes our ascension into higher consciousness. It's flirting with the mind of the universe and the ancient past th through the conscious working of this rune. We can attain all of the metaphysical truths that we desire, no matter how mysterious or shrouded in darkness they may seem. Through patience, dedication, and the force of will and meditation, all mystical paths shall be illuminated. May your forbearance and determination bring you all that you desire in this world, and may your spirit rise above the modern decay. The divine light is guiding you towards your goal. Remain true, and good fortune will be with you. You are well protected by the power of the light. It will give you a clear vision to avoid dangers, but don't be blinded by your ego. Remain humble and thankful for all the good things that come to you. In relationships, don't lose hope if the circumstances are not playing well for you. Have trust in your success, and know that time heals all wounds. Positive dynamics in your relationship will appear shortly. As far as work, Degas can signify an experienced person, a professional, who can take responsibility for major tasks. In terms of circumstances, you can count on your luck. There are no hidden threats on your way. However, try to avoid overconfidence since it can lead to negative consequences, reckless actions, and frivol frivolousness. Degas recommends have trust in your beginnings. If you put effort into what you are doing, everything will work out just fine. So our key takeaway for Degas is breakthrough, awakening, and awareness. Daylight clarity as opposed to nighttime uncertainty. A time to plan or embark upon an enterprise. The power of change directed by your own will. Transformation and hope and happiness, the ideal. Security and certainty, growth and release. A balance point and the place where opposites meet. Happiness, success, activity, a fulfilling lifestyle, and satisfaction. I want to touch base with you guys and remind you, check out the Patreon, where you get behind-the-scenes videos, exclusive blog posts, access to the Discord server where I go live as I'm getting ready to do this every day and I sing and dance and shuffle the cards and throw runes around and get harassed by the dogs. Just saying. Okay, um, saying, hi, Jen, I see you. How are you today? What is our goddess for the day, though? Hmm. We have Hecate. Whew, time to get witchy with it. 
goddess of magic and queen of crossroads, Hecate reminds us that we are at the crux of our own power. You will be at your most magical now, and Hecate is reinforcing that power. Her mythology. Ha ha. I ditched the glasses so I can see it. <laughs> she is Greek. The Roman version is trivia. That one just... Okay. Goddess of magic and queen of the crossroads, Hecate is a moon divinity associated with the new moon. She is often accompanied by canines and portrayed with three heads. Human version of Cerberus? She is the keeper of the skeleton key that can open any portal and is thus also the gatekeeper of the underworld. Ghosts are under her dominion and she commands them as she pleases as the intermediary between the living and the dead. Hecate can be found where three crossroads diverge and among cemeteries and crime scenes. Her legend states that since she is the witness to every crime, she is considered a great protectress and is worshipped and invoked for such. Her power, her power, is honored above all others by Zeus, and she's a messenger between other deities. Once, she stole the beauty self from Hera to give to Hera's rival Europa. In a rage, Hera pursued Hecate, but never managed to catch her as she fled into the bed of a woman giving birth, then to a funeral, and then finally diving into a lake in Hades where she was cleansed and emerged stronger than ever. Thereafter, Hecate was a goddess of birth, death, and regeneration. Call on Hecate at night by candlelight when you are looking for protection, physical and spiritual. Canines are her spirit animal, and she often answers through them. My dog is the son of a witch. That's our goddess. Namaste. We are making friends with the voice in our head. Oh, hi, Juan. I see you. <laughs> um, take a moment to make friends with the voice in your head. The best of friends listen more than they speak. So just take a while to listen to what the voice in your head is telling you. Are they nice things? Are they negative things? Just listen. Do this for eight minutes. While doing this exercise, begin to accept the good words and toss the bad ones. Make friends with the voice in your head so that when it speaks, it will shower you with encouraging thoughts and positive emotions. Self-compassion. Progress, not perfection. When was the last time you did a less than perfect job and felt okay about it? When was doing good enough? Hmm, good question. Are we ready for a moment of Zen? All right, our moment of Zen. We have Kafka today. The true way goes over a rope, which is not stretched at any great height, but just above the ground. It seems more designed to make people stumble than to be walked upon. Franz Kafka. And Jane Hirschfield says, Zen pretty much comes down to three things. Everything changes. Everything is connected. Pay attention.
<laughs> and that is everything we have for today. Do the like, share, subscribe thing if you feel so inclined. Drop a comment if something I said resonated with you. Hop over to Patreon for behind the scenes videos, etc, etc. Check out my buy me a coffee link to buy this witch a cup of coffee because I seriously run on caffeine and sarcasm. I am a child of the 80s. Check out the website at www.yogawithdialin.com to book a one-on-one -on -one yoga session or a personal tarot or pendulum reading with me and the furry overlord. Tune in to Monday. Almost said tomorrow. It's Friday. Tune in Monday. Same bat time, same bat channel for another daily draw. And don't forget to come back Thursday for our podcast and come back tonight for guided meditation. And also, just so you guys know, a heads up that some of the links on my page might be affiliate links. That means if you click through and buy something from Amazon, I may earn a little commission at absolutely no extra cost to you, of course. It helps me keep the witchy vibes flowing and the yoga mats, you know, rolled out. Oh, and I thank you so much for your support. Now stick around for some fun outtakes because who doesn't absolutely love a good blooper reel? I did too. <laughs> and that's our rune. Next, we will have our goddess. Sorry. Ah, where's the fucking button? Fuck. Found it. That sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> what next? We have the oracles coming up next. Oh, shit. Okay, sorry. The gods 